Today's outcrop of the day is this magnificent breccia. I'm in the North Island of New Zealand and there's lots of acid volcanics here and there's breccias everywhere. But I'm trying to decide if this one is a phreatomagmatic breccia, an agglomerate or some kind of volcanic breccia. And obviously we're looking for phreatomagmatic breccias because they're the ones that usually have associated mineralization. Up until now, I've been a bit confused. There's lots of fragments of ignimbrite back there. This is silicified siltstone here. And it's really chaotic. There's areas with big fragments, little dusty fragments, and all kinds of different changes in texture. But I really wanted to know what's the style of the breccia, what's the origin of the breccia. And fortunately, in this one, we've just found some really good clues. And one of them is right there. That there is an accretionary lapilli. And they form when a mar volcano goes off and you get an upward streaming column of steam and gas and water vapor condensing on small fragments. And then all the little dust particles that are in that streaming cloud attach themselves around the fragments and build concentric rings and eventually they harden up and rain back down into the Mar Lake. And that's what those are. You see those concentric bands around the cluster of fragments there? And there's all kinds of different big ones and small ones mixed in with fragments of tuff and other rock types. That's very typical of what you see in Mar volcanic environments. And fortunately, there's also some more over in this piece here, which is a silicified siltstone, but it's full of these accretionary lapilli. So we know that that is a tuffaceous siltstone and it highly likely formed in a mar volcano. One of the most critical factors in trying to decide if it's a phreatomagmatic breccia or a magmatic breccia is if you can find fragments of vein material particularly epithermal vein material in the breccia. Because you often find epithermal veins forming in the structure below the Mar Volcano prior to and during the magmatic event. And when there's an explosion, that vein material gets ripped off the walls and blown up into the breccia. And that's exactly what we found here. That's a beautiful piece of coliform banded epithermal quartz as a fragment in this breccia here. So now I'm much more convinced that this really is a phreatomagmatic breccia.